The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound. And I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Whitford will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. Strange to think of basswood without its mine. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. Kids hung out here all the time. Not that I was ever invited, or wanted to go. I think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway.
I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. There seems to be something here. Lovers scarring a tree to write down their initials. Always seemed twisted to me. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about.
This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit-chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Come on, Anna, look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee. A ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam. Put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone.
Lost the signal. Some things never change. actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. It was more complicated than just me and you. It's always more important than me. Joan, listen. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. You didn't call, text, or anything. You were just gone. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please. She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again? It's your call. Okay. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... 
I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to sooner or later. Whoever said you can judge someone by their car never met Tara. Seems Kathy's been keeping this run in a hundred thousand miles past its prime. I hope she's not running short on money. Some of the police force stopped by, which means most of the police force stopped by. The old bar sign reminds me of when Nick and I were still kids. Ethan keeps a spare key around, but I should use the front. One of Nick's favorite matchups. Might be the yeah. first game he'll miss. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That smile she had when I gave it to her. She could barely get on it back then. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, Mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs. Two long years since we last saw each other. You're very late, you know. You completely missed the funeral. I'm here for next wake, at least. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back-in-town requirement. So good to see you. 
even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. Of this paper since I left. I wonder how they've been doing without me. It must have been a hard issue to write. for this. Here we go. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. But that mean you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Because if you aren't... Just really embracing those hick stereotypes, huh, Joel? Gentlemen. We'll get you good old boys another round. Mighty kind of you, Declan. You're not worth it, Higgs. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. You always did know how to start a ruckus. Can't say I missed that. Old timers in general already don't like me, and the article just made it worse. Hey Sam, why don't you drink to Nick on the other side of the bar? It's supposedly the spirit of coal. Doesn't really belong here anymore.
He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Uh, not really. You just quoted him a couple of times and I thought it sounded good. Walter can be overwhelming at times, then you should but he means well. Expectations. It's a masterpiece, plain and simple. So I had to throw them all out on their ear and only then did I realize. Ah, Samuel, my favorite ex-muckracker. Join us, join us. How was the funeral? Wasn't there, setting up for this. Everyone came, most of the town it felt like. A sea of sad, wet eyes. I gave the eulogy, felt hollow, so hollow. He worked for me for years, for years, my best reporter. What do you even say about him? He loved people, sharing things, having fun together. Take video games. He didn't even care if it was some cooking game or shooting game or what, as long as we were playing together. I always prefer my games analog. Chess, Go. You two did seem to bond over them, though. It's the small things. Like, he always kept his window down. Said cars made him claustrophobic. That's how he stays with us. The little details. I remember the bar bets about that safe spot in Pac-Man. He, he got me one night. Yeah, got me once, too. Can't believe it's real. Enough about Nicholas, enough. Tell me, how have you been, Sam? How have you really been? I spend all day doing nothing. I don't even count days, they just blur together. Nick's death barely hit me. It was like a pinprick compared to just everything. Time heals most wounds. Some it just makes worse. Sounds like you need something to pull you out of your rut. Well, I think I've taken enough of your gents' time. Go, mingle, circulate, but you must join us for an actual round later. You must. Oh, Walter, can I ask you something? Questions are the fountainhead of knowledge. Nick's crash. Was there anything suspicious about it? I asked myself the same thing. The very same thing. It did seem odd. Young Nicholas, a careful man in all things, including driving. I looked into it myself, you know what I found? What? A tragic accident with nothing amiss. I am both relieved and saddened to say. Ah. Life is rarely like a crime thriller, and while I don't mind you asking, some might find it a distasteful conversation at a man's memorial. Especially from you. I'll uh, keep that in mind. See that you do, my boy. See that you do. You should have been the one giving the eulogy, Samuel. No one knew it better than you. Like Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, you two were. I can't believe you showed up after what happened. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick? His car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of late work on that. Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? Of the writing? Fine. Fine. Of the reporting. <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam.
I've never known Tara to not take over a conversation. So tragic, what happened to Nick. The details are horrible. They think he didn't die on impact. Instead, he roasted, roasted to death. Not enough to damage the bones, but you know, not a pretty sight. Unless you're into that kind of thing, of course. I didn't mean to be rude, Sam. Well, you were, Tara. You can't talk about Nick like that. What did I say? It was only the truth. Poor, poor Sam. Now that Nick is gone, everyone in town hates you. I mean, I don't. Why would I? It's not my job you destroyed. You're not the cause of all my problems. I mean, that's what you did for pretty much all of Basswood, but not to me. So, I don't hate you. Thanks for the confidence booster, Tara. I'll see you around. Nick was the good sort. Sometimes the good sort, but I like the bad sort. It's not fair. But no more than 3,000 milligrams. Pretty courageous of him to try his luck in Basswood, given the state of things. <laughs> That's what crooked pharmacists want you to Bess always had a soft spot for Nick. I think she liked his work ethic. I can't believe this whole thing's still working. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. So, Sam, how's life been treating you? The same way it treats everyone. Some days are better than others. Yeah, that's pretty optimistic, coming from you. I try. You staying in town long? Not really. Why? You think I'm going to disturb the peace or something? <laughs> Wouldn't be your first time. Have a nice evening, Sam. You always did know how to start a ruckus. Can't say I missed that. You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. The 
Everyone here seemed to really like my dad. Of course they did, Bug. Everyone's nice in that creepy way. It's weird. Even Anna's weird. People don't really know what to say, but they genuinely liked your dad. So even if they're weird and clumsy, it comes from a good place. <laughs> now you sound all weird and clumsy. Don't I always? Do you ever just watch people? <laughs> it's pretty much all I do. Me too. But I don't always like what I see. You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. Some people can play this game drunk. Anna was best at three beers. Should I have brought flowers? Do people expect me to? There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce, but anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. We hadn't been close in years, but he was my daughter's father. I'll miss him. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and... Jones never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Your daughter thinks Nick's crash doesn't make sense. She's a little girl who lost her father. She's confused right now. Don't you go encouraging her, or worse, putting those thoughts in her head? I frankly thought you knew better. Do you think she has a point? I think you should stay away from her. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face.
He was more her best friend than a dad. Look at us. I wonder who took that picture. Happier times. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. Those two were a great team. Bug was so small back then. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. That wasn't the reason I left town. Oh, you think it was that girl of yours? <laughs> You left because the town hated your guts. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Yeah, like you'd care. Uh, not too much. But suit yourself if you want to be like that. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which...
Anna used to play it almost every night. She stopped after her father's accident. Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Anna? Sam! I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? I won't lie, it really hurt coming back. I stopped by Lookout Point on the way here. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? A desire to open old wounds? The old timers gave me hell when I came in too. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. I wanted to help. I was trying to make things better. You always do. Try, at least. When my father lost his legs, Nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's... Joe. He's an oak. Unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. But you and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He, he never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. <laughs> That's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this... Th this was all nice. The funeral, the wake... Walter did a good job. <laughs> but it all just makes me feel... Heavy it makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. It's hard for me to really just wrap my head around it. Nick being gone. Smart. Don't rock the boat when the person in the boat just lost a loved one. It's big. I can't get my head around it either. His stuff is all over my house. But he's just missing. Things without an owner. Most of it I'll probably give to Joan and Kathy, throw away, I don't even know. Sam, I'm tired and if I'm gonna drink and cry, I wanna do it alone. I played that stupid, stupid song like I told myself I would. He said, or he used to say, it made him ache. I did it, and I'm going home. We need to catch up, though. Let's meet for coffee tomorrow and talk. Really talk. 9.30? Yeah, maybe. I'll be at the cafe across from the paper, Christina's.
It was honestly nice seeing you. Samuel, come. Have a round with me. I need a drink or two. Or three. And then I'll go. Bess always had a soft spot for Nick. I think she liked his work ethic. Mr. Hicks, good to see you. My condolences for your friend. Coming back in town must not have been easy. Officer Stevenson was telling me about your little welcoming committee. It's all right. Declan saved the day. We just don't want any troubles here. Not from you, not from anyone. Don't worry, I won't stay in town long enough for that. One quick thing, Nick's death. Are you sure it was an accident? Are we sure? What are you trying to say? Now, Sam, I know you're a bird dog at heart and a bird dog hunts. But listen, Nick's death was an accident. Don't go riling people up. Don't you think you've done that enough to the nice folks around here? I guess so. Enjoy your evening. You know Sam, he likes to prod and poke. Nick was a good chasing man. shadows that aren't Always even there. spelled your name right when he was quoting you. Basswood lost one of its golden sons. Dennis, bitter and jaded. He's even worse than the last time we spoke. People leave you or they die. That's the only way anything ends. Nick was the good sort. Sometimes the good sort die like the bad sort. It's not fair. It does look tempting. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Ah, uh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there. With a bad dad joke or two. With friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. Well, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a hoard. I don't know. I hadn't spoken to him in almost two years. I cut this whole town out of my life and now it's like I'm a stranger. This place is in your blood. It's like an old glove. You have to give it time. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed, few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns, that from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Well, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. Everyone liked him. I think even Dennis liked him somewhat. He always had a lot of friends. A few who couldn't make it sent flowers. How's the family taking it? Joan and Kathy seem shaken. 
Kathy has a lot to deal with, now more than ever. But who could prepare for losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. It always seemed so easy for him. Every day he'd show up, smile, no matter what. Of the qualities in a good man, that one deserves to be at the top. Not a quality I possess. This isn't a place for self-pity. This is a place for dour reflection. Yes, and drinking. To Nick, he was my friend. He will be missed, but not forgotten. Hear, hear. Put that down! Kathy, what's your underage child doing drinking? You have no control over her? Anything can lose his license. I wasn't doing anything! Don't touch me! Joan! Leave me alone. Uh, you guys are all so... so... stupid! You do not talk to people that way. I'm... I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so... so... That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. I'll send her a text. Make sure she's gonna be okay. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if the years didn't smooth their animosity as much as I hoped. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Stop, stop pushing me. Stop always poking at me. You just won't quit. I'm trying to help. And helpful tip number 602, beer doesn't solve any of this. You're back out in the world, feeling emotions, fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. Okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? What happened last night? Oh, my head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. Did I black out or what? 
Oh, I can't. I can't think straight. I need some water on my face. Clear it up. Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. these did I take? God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Please let there be water. No, no food. I'll just throw it all up. Is that? No, that's not water. That is vodka, the opposite of water. No, no more beer. I need water. No water, of course. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. At least it won't take me long to get my things. I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel.
Sam, be more careful. Breathe. Focus. Doing good, really good. You're almost there. Focus, choose, act deliberately. Get far away. Don't move. Just go. As fast as I can. Hide. It's never happened. Going on. If I run, I'll keep running. I need to face what happened. Answers. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. There's too many questions about last night. All the obvious answers are bad, but worth knowing. Not all answers are worth knowing. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. Ethan and his parents. And I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. I remember seeing this before, a long time ago.
Whoa, what happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? What knocked this clock off the pillar? Do this? Sorry, Nick. It seems there was a fight that could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all.
Finally beat Nick's high score. <sighs> Wish he were here to take it back. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. I hope this wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. on my own and someone approached me I can't remember who it was but I know we got into a fight obviously if I figure out how the fight went I should figure out who my assailant was
Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the... Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. You'll want to apologize, trust me. God damn. Sam? You're, you're not here to rob me, right? Ethan, I, uh... No, I'm not here to rob you. Oh, good. I won't have to break your legs. I'm here to apologize about last night. Ah, uh, I thought that might be the case. Don't sweat it. This place gets busted up once a month. Sounds rough. I guess. It's, it is what it is. Buy a bar, you gotta run a bar, you know? I'll take cleaning up your dumbass mess over dealing with family any day. Ethan, did anything weird happen last night? Well, you and Dennis beat the crap out of each other, and then you left. And now I gotta clean it up. Don't worry about it. Uh, too much. No one's on their best behavior after losing a loved one. I know I'm not. At least my sister isn't dead. She's just ruining her life. She wants to be called Kayla now. Ruining her life? Yeah, living in some commune. Dropped out of school. Life of a heathen. We all make mistakes. Yeah, and I feel like she makes most of them. Sam, I got a lot of your mess to clean up. So if you could, you know, leave. I got places to be anyways. See you around, Ethan. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone, 
No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know, I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. Never knew Dennis to be the commemorative type. What's he doing here? Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. <laughs> I heard you asking about my dad last night. Well, I guess I wasn't very subtle, was I? No, you were not. <laughs> Did you find out anything about my dad? Not yet. Not really, at least. Let me know if you find anything, please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place, it feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe, I can't think, I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science. And just, when I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place. Or these people. I'm somewhere else. Anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just... It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well that other stuff sounds okay though. Thanks for listening. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Seems she got older by six years and just two. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, 
No one except me. I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's... Where's you at, day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. <laughs> Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. You know you're in Basswood when even the graffiti's about miners. Didn't used to see this around. I'm surprised it hasn't been removed. Declan always had very clear ideas about law and order, but now he seems to be even more vocal about his convictions. Sorry, Sam, I'm still on duty. I wouldn't want anyone making up with a statue on Miner's Day, huh? Perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Maybe Kathy will know something. Or that new pharmacist. Go 
love you. Yo, get out the way. You move. I'm the one coming in. Shh, fuck you. That's enough. <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Hiking is an activity best done alone on a Sunday afternoon. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. <sighs> Reminds me of a girl I met. She could only eat chips when she had stomach aches. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. I'm trying to find something for it, and if it doesn't help, it can't hurt. I'm glad someone took over this whole drugstore. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. <laughs> I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes, <laughs> always. Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood but never liked it. Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago, and Kathy still keeps it with her. Miner's day always ends up exactly the same, relaxing in its constancy. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. 
I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, and I have quite a hangover to show for it. <sighs> not my finest hour. I would say not, after your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. You really don't need to say things like that. But it's true. The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find, in some cases, time is the best medicine. My mom used to say that all the time. Now she only says it a lot. Sounds like a wise woman. Listen to her advice. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask, why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. Oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. I heard you're helping out with the celebration today. Naturally. It's the town's biggest homegrown tradition. <laughs> I've become quite a fan myself. I never got into it. No. A celebration of hard work and building something with your own two hands? Well, it's quite romantic. I'm from Florida myself, but it has that universal appeal. If it works for you. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat. But I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. I hope you'll stay for the festivity, Samuel. Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? So, the wake. I, um... Uh, none of us were on our best behavior. Nick would have been happy you showed up, no matter how anything else went. I left early myself to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful.
No one in here was much help. Three boxes of codeine. Five tubes of anti-inflammatory gel. Sam, I'm busy. I imagine there's a lot more people looking for work nowadays. She pulls the look off a lot better than I could. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. <laughs> Slow day so far. But people are gonna swarm the cafe once the celebration starts. I guess it means more tips for me, so it's not all bad. I don't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old place? It's like a ghost town sometimes, except ghosts haven't bothered leaving. Somehow, I don't think the town's recent history will be included. It's fine with me. Ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true.
Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Bug? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am going to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this, no matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh, dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time. Ah, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? Uh, sitting in my mom's spare bedroom and decomposing into arrested development. <laughs> well, at least you're decomposing with family. You look well. I've been better, hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Good to see someone finally knows how to take care of a plant. It's basic, yet so many people manage to mess it up. <laughs> Glad to see Joan hasn't changed too much. Christina, always bringing positivity. Uh, 
I need to? <laughs> Different priorities, I guess. Cowboy must have lost his keys. Christina is Basswood's resident godmother. She loves her small talk. The cost. Right, so the overhead would You seem be real engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hun. Just balancing the books. Or trying to. How you doing? You managed to keep the books balanced? About as well balanced as a snake with four balls. <laughs> that sounds uncomfortable, at the very least. <laughs> Something my grandfather used to say. Still don't know what it means, but it works in almost any situation. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity, which makes tidying up my books in time extra important, even if it kills me. Gonna light the whole place up, and then collect on the insurance money? No, but don't think I haven't considered it. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh dear, I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made-for-TV movies. I feel strange being back here. I don't think I've been in your cafe in a while. Almost two and a half years. Anna kept coming in. You stopped. You noticed that? I could tell you two dears weren't gonna make it. it broke my heart. It sounds like you knew before I did. Gotta have one eye on the customer, and one eye on the books. Not that I really want to keep an eye on the books, mind you. It's just been a bit slow the last few years. All over town, really. Sounds like the town's running through a pretty rough patch. Ah, things have just been a bit tough since the mine closed. But you know us. We always make it through. For example, I thought we'd never have another miner's day, but here we are. Do you still have Basswood's best coffee? Ah, oh, honey, you know we've never had that. That's over at the police station. Bess takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. She pays out of pocket for real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. Hmm. Uh, say, hun, would you mind if I finish this? Oh yeah, of course. Good luck with your book balancing. Mm-hmm.
So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? A statue honoring miners. Pretty meaningless now. Religion's kind of like genetics. If your parents had it, you probably do too. This is new. Domations. Now that's the bass what I remember. Drowned six men. Basswood's mining started with an accident. Fitting. Never forget, huh? Can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answering. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well, everything has to look its best for today. Especially the miner. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. And that matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? Two. One to hold the light bulb, the other to rotate the planet. <laughs> not bad. The one I have in store is three. One to replace the light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself like that? Mourning the past? Sometimes. But I ain't like folks around here. I made my peace. The mine's not coming back. Don't mean we let our statues turn to rust. So, you still want to hear the story? I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. He didn't sit right with our boys. 
They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations, being what they are, refused. And sent strike breakers. The mine wars. Miners came out in force, union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. 10,000 strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas around their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least a hundred men died in that battle. Blood spilled for what we have now. <laughs> oh. Doesn't seem to me like their sacrifice amounted to much in the end. Ah, well, depends on how you look at it. Things got better. Still are. Even now. People stood up and said no. And the suits... They had to bend. It's inspired me my whole life. Maybe it'll inspire you one day. Anyway, I'll get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Sorry. I really need to finish this. These old hands can't be idle. Losing his legs seemed like the end of him, but he bounced back. Man, he's a rock. Joe. Sam? You old bridge jump out your bed. What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. I heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? Uh, maybe a little. But don't worry. It's hard for me to blame them. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The yeah, cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best.
right. Time to say hi to Anna. and there'll be a few more cups before she leaves. <laughs> Some things never change. Sam! Glad you came. Of course. I said I would. I can still be glad about it. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point, it's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. Long night. Yeah. Sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? So, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on. Tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down. Or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's... All a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done? Seems Walter's got a lot on his mind. I know the feeling. Samuel! Samuel, my young soul, are you still haunting this pallid town? There are a few things I have to clear up, some last boxes to check. Careful now. They say in the details lies the devil. I don't think that's what that's supposed to mean. Perhaps not, perhaps not, but something to think about nonetheless. I'll keep that in mind. You know, I'm glad I ran into you. If I may bend your ear for a moment. I've been thinking lately about age, life, the turn of the clock. No one gets sharper with age. When do you think it's time to hang up the saddle? A true cowboy rides until the last day they can ride. I had a feeling you'd say that. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for your ear, but soon I must have sconed. Sunday lunch with mother is sacred. Call on me any time, young Samuel. Any time. I've got a lot to think about, my boy. A lot to think about.
Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. Careful. I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Nice sucker punch. <clears throat> Got some bite. Well now, seems you want a beaten. I can oblige. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. Been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who? Sam, when you focus, you can think through any problem. Keep going. You got this. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The 
shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. And how did I get the blood on me? The blood pooled where Dennis fell, so the body was moved. If I moved it, that's how the blood got on my shirt. I have the complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. 
Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. And Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. There's a lot of junk in here, but none of it is useful to me. Joan used to keep this with her at all times, always observing and sketching and... Hmm, what are those numbers? Valid question. Still not sure. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen? Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick, Anna, and me. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this, for old time's sake. Get in here. Thanks, bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big.
What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. It's possible Walter missed something. Could be worth checking his office. treated us like family. Strange how calm it is out there when, well, this happened. at Walter's password. Hopefully his password reminder isn't some esoteric book reference. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Walter's desk is just like him, big and full of mystery. <laughs> is Granddad Rock a thing? If so, Walter and Anna are both into it. Good for Walter that Judith is doing all right. She means the world to him. So much so that she could be his password. I can't imagine Walter getting a suntan at the beach. He can't stay still. Friend never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he set her name as his password. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he set it as his password. Remind. 
reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. A photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. She used to be the office administrator ages ago. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. That was just after Anna came on. Really were a small clan. Locked. I need the password. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him, and his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. So, 
Did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. Anna, I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so... Drunk, I arrived late, and the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Okay, but not that phone. Use one of the landlines here, and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. Here we are. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean your over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right, somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. Fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him.
An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up.
but Nick's car did burn. I know that. How could the signs have burned during the crash then? One simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself, as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I think I can handle this. Hopefully. Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. Last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. 
He had to get a new one after the accident. Must have been very expensive. <sighs> Didn't think I'd see it again. Not looking forward to stepping back inside. It's... it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. I'm gonna have to side with Anna on this one. Can't miss appointments. Just because I'm an old man in a wheelchair, you two think you can push me around. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house, your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. Should she's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. I need to get in there eventually, but maybe I should look around the property first. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Anna never got rid of this sign. I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place.
I want everyone to know this house is sold. You're mine. I own you now. <laughs> it might be 200 years before it's paid off, but it's mine. So, when can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No! You're gonna sleep on the side closest to the door. Why is that? So, if someone breaks in, you can fight them off. And maybe because I like being near the window. Somehow I feel like it's entirely the second thing and not at all the first. <laughs> we can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. <laughs> this house isn't going to decorate itself. And I want you to be part of that. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. Anna and I spent our nights out here, trying to find all the constellations. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house. Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Anna? Um, Anna, are you, are you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries.
I've never even had my car broken into. It's hard to imagine how she feels. Making a drink for Anna would be a good way to show her you're here for her. She's not gonna want something cold. Always said cold drinks are for parties. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. I always wanted to visit France, but life is just too strange for me there. <sighs> Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. People in film noirs always offer a stiff drink in times like this. Might work. Her go-to soft drink. She actually likes to drink this stuff straight. Could do. Don't stress about what drink you bring her. It's just bringing it that matters. She used to drink this every day in middle school. Brings her back to being 10. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. Finally, there. Chocolate helps everyone feel better. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just, this is just so fucked. Nick, my house. Sam, 
You should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break into my house? God, I can't help but being pissed at Nick for being dead. It makes no sense. It's all just a lot. I, I used to feel safe here and now, sorry, I just, thanks, Sam. It's all right. A lot has happened in the last few hours. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah, I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. She needs support. Something solid. Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in, it was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation, your proposal, I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? Face it, Sam. If you had paid attention, you'd have known she wasn't going to say yes. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now, and I thank you for that, you know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick, if my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks, maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. She's feeling guilty about what happened. She shouldn't bear that burden alone. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. He must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean...
You can count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. That's good. That's really good. Let's see this to the end, and, well, we'll see what happens when we get there, right? Whatever happens, we're in this together. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. This feels like the only part of the house I recognize. Whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. I don't think she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. I saw you still have some of my old things. <laughs> well, it's not like you left a forwarding address. Careful. Don't put her on the spot. I told you, you could just toss them. I thought with the way I left, you'd have chucked everything in a heartbeat. I thought about it. Just couldn't take that final step. Anyway, if you want any of it back, you know where it is. I imagine Joan spent some time here with her dad. Was she over a lot? Pretty much every time Nick had her. Yeah, I don't think she ever really warmed up to me. It's hard to tell with Bug, but I'm sure she likes you just plenty. <laughs> How do you figure? Well, she's stubborn, opinionated, and not afraid to say what she means. She didn't tell me she hated you, so she probably likes you. And right now, she'd probably want your support. I'm aware. I know how hard it is to lose a parent at her age. I'm sorry to be prying, but I saw the post-it notes. Oh, that... It... It was stupid. It was one of those fights over nothing. Everything... I don't even know now. It all seems so far away. We didn't fight often, but... when we did... it got bad. Really bad.
You know that it was probably just a phase. These things come in waves. It wasn't like that. It felt really sudden with Nick. Before, we used to fight once in a while, and that would be it. But lately, he was constantly on edge. You know, we always followed that same stupid ritual after a fight. We'd write these silly post-it notes just as a way to make up. It worked, most of the time. Is it just me, or are you a better listener than you were? It's just you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I got this for Anna's birthday after she mentioned wanting to travel more. Anna always was more interested in people than cold, hard facts. Not surprised Anna keeps this letter. I'd keep it too. Anna always wanted to take me to concerts. They were just never my thing. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know. Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. I saw all those medical bills. How's your dad holding up? He lost his insurance when the mine closed. It's been rough. I know the company folded after Amsha came down on him, but you didn't get anything after that? There's some class actions rolling around, but I don't think we'll ever see much. Aren't there some programs that might help someone like Joe? There are. They help. Some. Not enough. More bills always keep coming in. 
I got to the point where I considered selling the house. But then Nick pitched in. Anyway, not something I want to think about right now. Yeah. Sorry. I saw that letter you got from the kid in the school art show. Oh, yeah. It was just a local fluff piece I wrote forever ago. It was incredibly sweet of you. Tuh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm serious. Sounds like you gave him the confidence to put himself out there. Who knows? Maybe he'll go on to be a painter. Honestly? I hope so. Sometimes all people really want is for someone to take an interest. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. I remember taking this photo. God, seeing it like this. It's not what Anna needed. Looks like Joan's using this room now. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Got the A. Corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. Chunk. I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep talker. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? 
As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course. When you fix it. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? As if her week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. <sighs> Not the smartest decision. But Anna deserves a break. Why is it so dark in here? This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. I asked Anna what this was once, and she laughed at me. I still don't know what it is. I guess Anna must have left it on, but she had her laptop with her. Is this Nyx? Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nyx's laptop? I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't. Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Hello? 
Your father called, said there'd been a break-in. Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Sorry, I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Joan rides this bike everywhere. Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. But what's it doing here? I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Aw, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Uh, don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is there something wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. Plus, I know what she'll say. 
Calm down. Think of the common good. She doesn't do anything. Just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. Leaving is gonna hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it. And never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. I know. People at the wake got upset at you over it. Yeah. They did not like me bringing that up. But Nick was my friend. I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In 10 years? Remember what we said this morning? You could be anything you want. You don't want to stay in this town? You don't have to. But leaving like this? Running away? That's not going to help anything. Thanks for listening. But I don't know if I can take this place anymore. Can't you try? What would your father say? Look, I'm gonna find out what really happened to him, okay? And you and I, we'll figure this out. About what's next for you, about your mom, life. I need you to trust me. I need you to give me some more time. A few days. You have a few days. Do you want me to drive you back home? No, it's fine. I need to take my bike back anyway. I'll see you later. All right? I promise. For real this time. I'm gonna hold you to that. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town, Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. 
grew up with them. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Nick wasn't the type to remember passwords. He probably left himself a reminder.
Like many people, Nick kept a few guns. But never at home, and always locked up. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? All right, I think I went through everything here. There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. Just gotta figure out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. Let's see what we have here.
That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Richard, a.k.a. Dicky, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dicky. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain every- That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? You and I are gonna figure something out together. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful. That's enough. What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. 
do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. Letting that despair break you down? That's how whoever did all this wins. Hiding crime behind tragedy, we have to stay clear-headed to see through it. Yeah, you're right, I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. That's not fair. Shut up! Sam! I... Sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove! We're here! Right. 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 Sam, you sure you want to keep going? Not really, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Sam, if you need to take a moment... No, let's... let's do this. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? This is Sam. He's a friend. I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? With Dickie. It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah. I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay. But be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Ow! Watch it! The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? You seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You'd have to be an idiot not to. You're creating something out of nothing and then turning it into something else. That's as close to real magic as we can get. So, are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dickie. Don't know where he is and don't care. It might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud, goes off-road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. 
occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. He could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. I don't feel like you have to. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. Now that's a man that wants to be left alone. What's up? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR. I'm... Wait. You're that fucking reporter. I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. if I don't. I shatter your fucking face. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Guess that explains how he ended up here. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Tyler set himself up nicely. A guy who wants everyone to know he's ready for a fight. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you're not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. 
She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. The clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dicky. Dicky could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. You never have any trouble with anyone. No one takes advantage? As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others, even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. Tyler said Nick came here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future, don't you think? What about opioids? Did he say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you must remain clean. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's gotta be in one of these places. I see you're back. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally.
quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here or have you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Hey, I don't want any trouble, just sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'll be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. These shavings would be perfect kindling. Varnish. Can's empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Need to account for that. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. Pre-Socratic philosophy. Dog-eared and well-read. I saw this picture in Ethan's bar, only intact. Guess I know who's been cut out. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. She won't like how this goes down, but it's the only way. said this place could go up like a bunch of kindling. No other option. 
You're Ethan's sister, right? Was his sister. How do you stop being someone's sister? He tried to make every decision in my life. The same as the rest of my old family. Though Ethan was by far the most suffocating. I didn't like who I was when I was around him. I didn't like either of us. So you two don't ever talk to each other anymore? Not really. Well, the last time we did, I ended up coming here. Maybe was his sister was harsh. You can tell him we've talked, if you gotta. It's probably time I leave you alone. Hey, you're probably right. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. It's deep enough. I could squeeze in here. Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Hey, uh, Anna. Can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't gonna be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? I need to create a distraction to get to Dickie. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If he does get it, the fire won't burn for long. First step, the statue goes up in flames. This will get everyone's attention.
Annette will go for her hose. She's right next to it. Definitely a problem. trailer before they put the fire out and notice I'm gone. That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dicky. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh, no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. You clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man. I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him, but just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna put so much together. He was gonna pin us to the wall. And now I'm as good as dead. You don't understand, man. I can't... Stop rambling. What did you take? His notes. About his article. About the dealing and the, the drugs and... Names of dealers. And sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You've gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at makeout point. He'll pick it up soon, and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Shut a cop. You know him, everyone knows him. 
Oh, man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done! But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me! Come on! Just let me go! Please, I already told you everything! No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me! I'm begging you, man! Let me go! Let me go! Help! Anyone! Help me! Shut up! Hey, asswipe! Should've known! Damn firebug! I'm gonna kick the shit out of you! Sam! Sam, we have to get out of here! Shut up! Your ass ain't any better! You brought him here! You've had this coming! I can explain. Oh, you'll explain, all right! Someone give me my rifle! We're leaving. God damn it, woman! It doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, he'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. No one else is gonna die. You can't promise that. It's unfair to think you can. You don't know what's gonna happen. I don't either. But we're the only ones who could possibly bring some closure to these murders. Just control yourself, okay? The fire worked, but people could have gotten hurt. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something quiet and simple. Stop it! I'm not doing anything. Other than trying to save your life. You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just... just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. stop it. Sam! Sam! Sam, stop. there's a turret! Stop! Stop! Sam! Stop! Stop! stop. I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah! Uh. What's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here! I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! No! Ah! I'm control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? Not freak out. You've been through this before. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. The question is, where does it lead? There 
you are. You and I need to talk. What? What's happening? Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. making it a habit. Wonder what's in store for me now. You know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. I don't need that right now. Just give me a break. I give up. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. 
I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Follow me! Which one Sam, are you? Sam, where are you? Sam. Sam? Sam! Follow me. You and me, Sam, we can do this. You and me, Sam, we can do this. Sam, come with me! Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I I'm sorry, I just... I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? Don't leave, Muley. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. Explain yourself to her. Or try to, as best you can. She deserves that. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault! I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair! I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. You're leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. 
Maybe tell him you'll call. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I... I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. I know the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. They just want to put useless labels on it. was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. I'm ready. Hey. 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 It's been a long road. 
road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. Especially to Joan and Anna. You're finally back on the right path. I believe some of the credit is mine. I'm doing my best with what I have. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. You make it sound so easy. I'm not sure I'm ready to let it go. It'll take a lot of work, but we can get you there. No one can enjoy life when they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. What about the world? Everything has a price. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even now. My world may fall apart, you'd still be here. Of course. Though you did handle your panic attacks just fine on your own lately. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences, it's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. The truth is worth more than any of us. Damn society. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. The world is an ugly place when you can really see it. Sam, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Declan arrives, 
He's gonna see the car. He'll know someone is here. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Syringes, bottles. Basswood has been having a tough few years. <laughs> Falling off is the least of my worries right now. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. It won't happen again. I'm here. 100%. I hope so. I need you right now. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. We don't both need to do this. You can go home if you want. Maybe you should. You're sweet, if a bit overly macho. I know the risks, but we haven't done too bad so far, right? So good try, but you're not getting rid of me that easily. Let's not waste time then. We should get back to finding those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. <sighs> the dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. I don't know why I let this place haunt me for so long. I don't see it. Burying it would be a lot of work for Dickie. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? 
You drank with his friends. Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You were one of Basswood's best. People counted on you. Don't even try to give me that. I've given enough to those two-faced hypocrites. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. As soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. You asshole! Think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick, he murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. Could try going for his gun. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole, Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still, Still has, has it on him. You need to watch out. No good to anyone dead. Take, Take it from me. Muley, it's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's, He's stronger than he looks. Hannah's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll kill you both. Tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him.
Declan can't see me. I have to use this to my advantage. I should strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's safe for now. I need to keep it up. Declan might go for his gun. Declan might continue going after Anna. You know, Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to, to destroy, destroy the evidence. Since your girlfriend has it. You better act fast, man. Declan might attack me now. You don't have to fight, just leave. None of this has to ever hurt you again. I'm done running. That man is a monster. And he'll kill, kill you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service gun, it'd be traced back to him. And he's been covering his track so far. Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Give me the evidence now. You want to get shot? Wait! Here, take it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! If I don't do something, we're dead. But if I do the wrong thing... I have to stay focused. Account for all the elements at play here. I'm doing well. I have to stay one step ahead of Declan and we'll get him. rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. I could try calling for help. That ugly yellow phone is your best, best chance, chance to call for help. That big jerk's not stupid. He'll probably, He'll probably keep an eye on that phone. Save Anna. We dragged, dragged her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. If you could distract Declan, Anna might have, have time, time to, get to get the gun. Keep his, his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. Close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky.
drop your gun, Declan. Anna! Hello? A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please. Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however. The journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. Sam! Hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. I wasn't thinking about the promise. I was just trying to get us not killed. You succeeded. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right? So much stuff. Anna won't have to buy food for weeks. I guess it's their way of making her feel better. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? Well, let's say that I've had better weeks. Not a hard thing to believe. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. That day, you said you need to ride until you can't anymore. Well, this is as far as I go. The Basswood Jungle has printed its last pages. It's making you think it's finally the right time to retire, huh? Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. Without Nick, without Dennis. Can't run a paper by yourself. Nor what I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line.
We don't know where we're going in life, but we can learn from where we've been. Good luck, Samuel. Don't waste all your time with me. My daughter will want to see you. Where are they? Where are Dad's notebooks? The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites. I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. It's not surprising, given what happened. This town is no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? You can't keep blaming her for everything. You also have to work on your own issues. What? Who are you to say that to me? You don't know the first thing about me. I know Joan feels you don't listen to her. She told me last week she was about to leave for her aunts. She even told me about your pills, Kathy. She did. And you didn't think to come warn me? This shows how much you really care about her. Anyway, I was going to take some time off work, get myself together. After everything that's happened, I figured it's time I got a hold of things. I didn't need you to tell me that. Take care of yourself, Sam. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. I'm gonna make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we were born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge. We make our own decisions, Bess, and we have to live with them. And I can promise you one thing. I won't let another Declan happen again. You have my word on that. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. Nothing more to say to each other. Hey, Bug. Hey, Muley. How are you holding up? 
fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. I've been there too. Most people say that without meaning it. But I do mean it, Bug. So how are you? I guess... better today than yesterday? Maybe? I still miss Dad. But finding out what happened to him... I don't know... makes me feel a bit better. It's not bad, but it makes me feel better, right? No. It's not bad. At least it feels like... like... Declan didn't just get away with it. You know? But it's not perfect, right? You still feel bad about something. It's just, if I hadn't told you about Dad, maybe Anna wouldn't have gotten hurt. You didn't do anything wrong. You deserved to know the truth. So, you don't think I was just selfish, dragging you and Anna into it? We wouldn't have caught Declan without you. And Anna, she's not your fault, all right? Okay. I'm glad you think so. Hey, Muley. Are you staying around this time? I can't stay, Bug. Oh. I talked to your mom. She's gonna try to do better by you. If she does, try to forgive her, all right? It won't be easy but I know you're strong enough. Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna miss you, Muley. I'll really miss you. Me too, Bug. I need to find Anna. Call me whenever you want to. Deal? Yeah. Deal. You better send me a text every now and then, Muley. So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? <laughs> better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, know, you saved my life. sure I didn't get killed. I got you shot. Yeah, but only in a part I didn't need. I'm stronger than ever. Ow. <laughs> stronger mentally. What's wrong? I wish we'd gotten those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. There's still something missing. Something eating at me. Real mysteries don't wrap up in nice little bows. Maybe. Just for once, turn your brain off. So what are you gonna do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'll finish up Nick's article. It's the least I can do for him. It's the least we can do. We'll finish the article together. Uh-huh. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see. Won't we?
Mr. Higgs. Not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Right or wrong, it doesn't feel good. People got hurt. That may be true. Still, what you did helped everyone. It really bolstered the common good. Be proud. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. Common good. Common common good shit. Common good shit, right? We know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. Don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way! Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I'd be best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Young man, is everything all right? How dare you? How dare you even come here? You insult his memory by even being here. I wasn't trying to give offense. I, I merely... Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that without proof would never hold up. The court of public opinion doesn't need documentation or a trail of evidence. Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted, what they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? I'm here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joe. 
Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Kathy was always in the way. You used Kathy as a shield. Come now, you knew him. You think he was so easily misguided? A little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father? Both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is, who profits? Criminals? Mobsters? Lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribe, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on, because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. How the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the bed.